Hi friends, recently I received an invite from Sony that I was selected to join an online event where PlayStation players get a chance to buy a PlayStation 5 and I'm happy to say I got one. About five months ago, on 25th of January 2022, I'd read that Sony started selling PS5s through their own online store and you can sign up to get an invite. Using my PlayStation account, I signed up right away and more than five months later, first week of June, I received an invite to join the event. You'll need to keep a close eye on this because you'll receive the invite a day before the event. So you don't have much time to get ready. In the email, you can see that there are some rules that you should keep in mind. This is done in order to give genuine gamers a chance to buy a PlayStation 5 instead of scalpers. So just follow the rules and you should be able to get one. The link in the email is personal, so make sure not to forward it, otherwise it could get you flagged and you wouldn't be able to use it yourself. In the email, it says what time and date the event starts. Take note of the time zone mentioned in the email so that you don't miss the event. Don't log in hours or a day before the event starts. I used the link 10 minutes before the start of the event and even though the queue I was placed in said there is more than one hour wait time, my turn came in about five minutes of waiting, which I'll show in the moment. I'd like to thank that Sony managed to filter out a reuse of the personal link. The email says that you can only use a credit card, but PayPal is also an option. In order to prepare, I recommend disabling your VPN connection because this could unfortunately get you flagged as well. And if VPN causes connectivity drops, then you could potentially lose your spot in the queue. Disable power options of your PC so that it doesn't go into standby or hibernation. Have your PSN account information ready to log in as soon as you have a spot. Maybe use it once on PlayStation.com to make sure you don't have any issues with your password and make sure to use a password manager. Have your payment methods ready. You can only use credit card or PayPal. For me, the option for credit card caused an issue when entering my address and it didn't say what was wrong even though I had everything entered correctly. So I just used my PayPal and that worked. Make sure your speaker works and it's unmuted because, because you'll hear an alarm when it's your turn. The event lasts 90 minutes and when it started, I noticed that my wait time was more than an hour. And I thought, yeah, I'm not getting one but the wait time was reduced to a few minutes shortly. It basically skipped an hour. And I'd like to think that the measures taken by Sony to eliminate scalpers has finally worked. When it's your turn, you'll hear the alarm and within a few seconds, you'll be redirected and asked to log in using your PSN account. After that, you're in the store and can select your PS5. I selected a PS5 uh, console bundle with uh, Horizon Forbidden West, DualSense charging station, media player remote, and uh, express delivery within two business days, which was a total of almost 700 euros. First I entered my address and then the payment method. As I mentioned, the credit card option kept showing an error, but didn't say what was wrong. So after a few attempts, I chose PayPal and that worked. After that, it was done, but I wasn't sure whether the purchase was actually finished or not. So I checked my PayPal history and saw the purchase there. I also received the confirmation email from Sony. I've added the mentioned links down in the description. Use it and sign up to get an invitation to order a PS5 directly from Sony. The same day I received an email stating that the order is sent and I could receive it within one or two business days. I logged into the UPS portal and enabled alerts to get all notification for this order. The big moment was the next day when I received an update saying that the package is underway. From the packaging, you wouldn't know where it's from and that's good. 
Everything was in order and I started setting up the PS5 and transferring my data from the PS4 right away, without any issues. Hope all you true gamers manage to get your hands on the PS5 soon and I'll see you in the next video.